Hello, my name's Aled Jones and I am the Head of PE and School Sport at Colourcoats Primary School in the northeast of England and I would like to talk to you about how we are tackling some problems uh, in our school around PE and School Sport with COVID-19. Earlier in the year I conducted a survey with our pupils which asked some questions around how much physical activity the children were managing to do in their lockdown period and we found that a very very large percentage of children did less physical activity during lockdown than they did in school. To tackle the reduction in physical activity during lockdown the children said that they would like to have more PE during their school week. Covid regulations meant that our school couldn't compete in our usual competition throughout the academic year. This posed a real problem for our children because they really enjoy the competitions and really, really miss them. Couple this with the cancellation of grassroots sports in the community, the children faced a real problem with how they were going to keep physically active during lockdown. For solutions, we've looked to the Daily Mile, We've looked to increasing uh, the amount of activity that happens during break times by giving every classroom a physical activity box. These boxes contain kit like balls, cones and all sorts just to give the children a bit of ownership over their own play. It also reduces the amount of physical contact between the children in break times because we found that they organise their own play either in small groups or independently. We've also found that timetabling the Daily Mile is more effective because when we didn't take timetable the Daily Mile, it had less of an uptake from teachers. We've also invested heavily in creative relationships with tertiary providers like Bike for Health, who provide outdoor learning and bike rides for lo lots of children in our school. We feel like outdoor learning is such an important and key factor of our school curriculum and we're really looking at ways to try and develop this and adapt to these new changes. We haven't yet measured the impact of these changes with our children, but I will do through another survey next term and hope that they'll find that the changes have been beneficial to their health. One piece of advice I'd give to other PE teachers in my position is to always try and network with the schools in the neighbouring areas to see how they are getting on, to see how they're adapting. I would also liaise with all of the local authority people that you have near you and of course with Youth Sport Trust Development Managers. That's how we're adapting to COVID-19 in our school. If you'd like to hear more from me or get in contact with me, my name's Aled Jones and it's aled.jones at ntlp.org.uk.